Juslan Gouvenex Bordeaux had put an end to a run of seven games without a win when they flattened Saint-Étienne last weekend, a result which had seen them climb back up into the top half of the table. They travelled to a Dijon side 12th in the league and who had shown plenty of attacking football lately, scoring seven goals in the last four games. And it was the visitors who started the game well. Malcolm, the influential Brazilian player, getting the ball played wide. It's a good low cross and Jonathan Cafu at the back post turns it in after an almighty scramble. It seems like the ball had crossed the line early on. But somehow Dijon kept it out with the toe poke. But then Cafu couldn't miss from there. Matis Rene in goal had absolutely no chance. Beaten twice, really. Dijon, however, didn't lie down and responded right away with Cedric Yambere getting his second goal of the season. It's a powerful header. goalkeeper a little bit out of position and then it's just breathless piece of play by Malcolm what a strike and what a goal you can never ever get tired of watching goals like that and the Ligue 1 Conferama once again delivers with a fantastic strike the 20 year old Brazilian getting his seventh goal of the season and that one the pick of the lot 2-1 at half-time for the away side. Bordeaux endeavouring to get the three points, playing well. Dijon, however, full of resources as they kept trying to go forwards. Wesley Said picking up the ball, going past Gaïk far too easily. Perfect cross and then it's Benjamin Janou who turns in. Dijon level after 52 minutes. It's good play by Said gets past his man and Janu couldn't miss from there Said the provider then became Said the goal scorer as he was played in after some fantastic play and then opened up his foot to curl in his third goal of the season and Dijon more importantly getting the winner in the 87th minute of the match as it went down right to the wire. What a great goal. Checker lets it run and Said just strokes it into the back of the net. Dijon come twice from behind to defeat Bordeaux, a fourth consecutive home win for them and they climb up into the top half of the table, a game which also witnessed a piece of magic with a phenomenal goal by Malcolm.